believing the word of God to be taught with power. The power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We will read the word of God from the book of James chapter 4, reading from verse number 7. The Bible says that submit yourself then to God, resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, you double minded. Then the word of God says from verse number seven. Submit yourself to God. First of all, submit yourself to God. Submit yourself to God. Devote yourself to God. And the Bible says that once you have surrendered yourself to God, once you have submitted yourself unto God, the word of God says that then you will be having an authority God will give you the authority to resist the devil. Amen. And the devil will flee from you. Amen. But it all starting first in submitting to God. Amen. We have to know how to submit to God. We have to practice submitting yourself to God. Amen. Someone may be saying that, how do I submit myself to God? You submit yourself to God in prayer. Amen. Submit yourself to God in prayer. As you pray, as you pray, you are submitting yourself to God. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Somebody may be saying that, how do I submit myself to God? Submit yourself to God by spending your time in the presence of God. Amen. Spending your time in the presence of God. You hear that there is a service. When you hear that there is a service, you make sure that you are in the service. Amen. Spending your time in the presence of God. Amen. As you are doing so, you are submitting yourself to God. Amen. Someone will be saying, how do I submit myself to God? You submit yourself to God in prayer and also in fasting. Amen. As you do those activities, it will be as if you, it will be you submitting yourself to God. Amen. And as you do so, Someone may be saying that, how do I submit myself to God? Submitting yourself to God, meaning that study the word of God. Amen. Listen to the word of God. Amen. As you give that particular time to God, by studying the word of God, by meditating upon the word of God, it will be as you submitting yourself unto God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that after that, God will give you authority Amen. to resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. Amen. God will give you the authority to put the devil where he belongs. Amen. Once you have submitted yourself to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. Then the Bible says that in the book of John, chapter 14, from verse number 23. Let us read from verse number 21 first. Whoever has my command and keep them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father, and I too will love them 
and will show myself unto them. And here we are hearing about submitting yourself unto God in loving the Lord. Amen. Loving the Lord. Jesus Christ said that the one who loved me will love his word. Amen. And he will love his word and will practice his word. Amen. And when you love the word of God, you will enjoy listening to the word of God. You will enjoy meditating upon the word of God. And after that, you will practice the word of God. Amen. And word of God, Jesus said that. Jesus said that the one who loved me will be loved by my father, and I too will love them and will show myself unto them. Amen. And Jesus said that in verse number 23, Jesus replied, Anyone who loved me will obey my teaching. My father will love them and will come to them and make our home with them. Amen. And anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. And the word of God said that these words you hear are not my own. They belong to my Father who sent me. Amen. That means the word of God is saying that when you love the word of God, when you meditate upon the word of God, as far as practicing the word of God, Jesus said that you will be loved by my Father. Amen. And my Father will come and reveal himself to you. Amen. And this Father will come and live in you in a special way. Amen. And as he do so, he will be giving you the authority to resist the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. Then the word of God when you submit to God. God, the word of God says that then you will resist the devil and the devil will flee from you. Amen. He will flee from you. Amen. Because when he sees you, it will be as if he's seeing, seeing one who's joined together with the Lord. Amen. He will be seeing the one who's joined together with the Father. Amen. Then time you spend. Yeah, doing those activities that you are saying is to submitting unto the Lord is not wasted, but it is invested. Amen. It is time spent in the presence of God is not wasted, but it is invested. Amen. Time spent in prayer is not wasted, but is invested. Amen. Time spent studying the word of God, time spent fasting is not wasted, but what is invested? Amen. Amen. It is invested. Amen. Because the intensity of time that you're going to spend, whether in prayer, whether in studying the word of God, whether in the presence of God, whether meditating upon the word of God, it will determine how God pours himself unto you. Amen. And when once God has poured himself unto you, that will be determined the grace that God will pour himself unto you. Amen. And the word of God says that one of the things that you will benefit is the authority where you resist the devil. And the devil will flee from you. Amen. And the word of God says that in verse number 8 of James chapter 4. Come near to God. Come near to God. Come near to God. As you are waiting upon the Lord, as you are submitting yourself unto God, giving God time. It is as if you are coming near to God. Amen. 
the more you spend time in the presence of God, the more you spend time in prayer, it is as if you are coming near to God. The more you are practicing the word of God, it is as if you are coming near to God. Amen. And that's what we need to do. Amen. To live a victorious life in Christ. Amen. To live a successful life in Christ. Amen. To live a fireful, fire-filled life in Christ. Amen. Because the Bible says that in the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Hebrews chapter twelve, verse number twenty-nine. The Bible says that for our God is a consuming fire. Amen. Then, as you are waiting upon God, spending time in the presence of God, spending time in prayer, spending time in the Word. God, it is as if He's depositing Himself into you. Amen. When you start praying, when you start meditating upon the Word, when you start fasting, it is not as if you are in that activity. No. The more you spend time in prayer, the more you spend time meditating upon the Word of God, the more you spend time waiting in the presence of God, it is as if now, from that moment, God is pouring himself into you. Amen. He's recharging you. Amen. He is empowering you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says that Amen. in the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40, the Bible says that in verse number 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Other vision will say that those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. They will renew their strength because it will be it as if as you waiting in prayer, Amen. waiting in the presence of God, waiting in meditating on the word of God, waiting in fasting, God will be depositing himself unto you. Amen. And he will give you supernatural strength. Amen. And he will give you fire strength. Amen. And after that, when you after that, when you take off, you're not gonna take off as a man. Amen. You will be having a supernatural strength. Amen. That you will be having a supernatural strength. Amen. You will be having a supernatural energy. Amen. That's when the Bible says that they, they will soar on wings like eagle. They will run and not grow weary. Amen. And they will walk and not be faint. Amen. Because they have been waiting in the presence of the mightier than the mightiest. Amen. They have been listening to the word of the mightier than the mightiest. Amen. Ocean divider. Amen. Miracle worker. Amen. The creator of heaven and earth. Amen. The one who can do anything, anytime, and anywhere. Amen. The Bible talks about this at the time. The Bible says that Moses was invited by God to spend about 40 days and 40 nights in prayer. The Bible said that Moses, when he came down from the mountain, after spending time with God, the Bible said that the glory was radiating in his face. Amen. In such a way that when he came down from the mountain, people were there like, ah, Moses, we can't look at your face. 
Your face is shining. Amen. We can't look at your face. And Moses had to cover himself with a veil. As he came down from the mountain, the more he spent time with people, the Bible said that the more the, the glory stopped radiating. Amen. But when he was in the mountain with God, he had recharged. And he came back with the supernatural power. Amen. The child of God, the Bible is saying that those who hope, those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. That's why now it's important for us to give ourselves time to spend time in the presence of God. Amen. It is important to spend our time meditating upon the word of God. Amen. You know, and only that person may not understand it. You must not expect anyone who is ordinary that person to understand what you're doing. Amen. Because it's a spiritual activity. Amen. And it should be understood by those who are spiritual matured. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ himself understood that language. Jesus Christ himself understood that activity. Amen. When the Bible talks about Jesus Christ, when he wanted to start his ministry, he went and spent about 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. Amen. But the Bible says when he came back, he was moving in the, in the power of the Spirit of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He was moving in this power of the Spirit of God. Amen. Doing extraordinary things. Amen. If we want our life to be extraordinary, to see the power of God in our days, the power of God in our family, the power of God in our days, we must not be lazy to submit ourselves unto God. Amen. We must not be lazy to come near to God. Amen. We must not be lazy to wait upon the Lord. Amen. We must not be lazy. Amen. Because it is it will be as if where you are, it is your time to recharge. Amen. Waiting upon the Lord. Amen. It is your time to recharge. Amen. When you are doing those activities, hallelujah. Amen. So that you can have an authority to put the devil where he belongs. Amen. To put the devil where he belongs. That's what the Bible says. Then you will be able to do what? To resist the devil. Amen. And the devil will flee from you. Amen. And that's when we need to understand that the devil is not scared of any man. The devil is only scared of Jesus Christ. Amen. The devil is only scared of God the Father. Amen. Then that's why we need to submit ourselves unto God. Amen. Amen. So that God can deposit himself in you. Amen. More than in salvation. Amen. So that we can live the life where we see the devil running and us chasing him. Amen. And not us running away from the devil. I don't know whether you're hearing what I'm saying. Amen. If you want to live the life where the devil must never be the factor, you submit yourself unto God. Amen. You come near to God. Amen. You spend time with God. Amen. And when God has yeah. deposited himself in you, then you will, you, you will have that authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 10, verse number 38, the Bible reads as follows. How 
God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. Because God was with him. Amen. But the Bible says how God anointed, first of all, Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Amen. And the Bible said that that's when he had this authority to be able to resist the devil, to be chasing away the devil. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing that we need to do is to live a spirit-filled life. Amen. Is to be a spirit-filled Christians. Amen. If you want to resist the devil, you need to wait upon the Lord. Let the Lord fill you with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let the Lord supercharge you by his power. Amen. Amen. Then you can go around doing good. Amen. And healing all who are under the power of the devil. Amen. Who are under the power of the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. You know, that's when we say that Christianity is a lifestyle. Amen. Christianity is a lifestyle because this thing is not something that you, you need to do once. Some people they begin to think that when you're talking about Christianity, it's, it's something that you do once, and once you've done once, everything falls into place. No, it's a life of submitting yourself unto God. Amen. It needs to be a lifestyle to wait upon the Lord. Amen. You know, sometimes you find someone with a prayer request. There's nothing wrong with the prayer request. Yes. And God answers. And God moves and turns things around. That is good. But after that, they must adapt this kind of lifestyle. Amen. So that they can continually put the devil where he belongs. Amen. So that you can be able to put the devil where he belongs. If you don't do so, they will be wondering that Jesus Christ has said on the cross of Calvary, it is finished. It is finished. He has he have, he have done it all. Amen. He has, he has defeated the devil for say, but why the devil still have got the mastery over their life? Amen. And you know, we need to live the life of submitting ourselves unto God. Amen. The life of prayer. Amen. Yes, that, that's why Jesus Christ said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. That means the word of God, it must become food to your life. Amen. Food like the food that you eat on a daily basis. Amen. It must not be the, the food that you... You can't eat the food once a, once, a, once a week. You can't eat food now once a week. You can't live that way. Amen. You have to eat food on a daily basis. So that... Once you are eating this spiritual food, the word of God says that in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse number 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And we live by faith and not by sight. And in order to be successful so as a child of God, it must be a lifestyle. Amen. Christianity needs to be a lifestyle. Amen. Mm. In all these things that we talked about, you need to be able to build a system around it which has become a habit and it's become part of your lifestyle. Amen. Not something that you do once in a while. Amen. 
it's not something that you have to do once in a while. Amen. It's not a holiday that you take. Amen. And you do it once a while. No, it won't work. Mm. Christianity must be a lifestyle. Amen. It must be a lifestyle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, oh, mighty Holy Spirit. Oh, mighty, mighty Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Help me to live. Help me to live. A submitted life. A submitted life. Oh, mighty Holy Spirit. Oh, mighty Holy Spirit. Help me to live in the presence of God. Help me to live in the presence of God. Help me to live in the presence of God. Help me to live in the presence of God. Help me to wait upon the Lord. Help me to wait upon the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Wherever you are, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. La Kratova Son Torobo. Everything to 
turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything, everything, turn around, turn around for my good. For my good. So let there be progress. Let there be progress. 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 So let there be miracle joy. Let there be miracle joy. Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from, me from today. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. Say me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love, the love of God. God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name.